Wow, I'm really messing up with the recording, so I apologize. Um, I do some examples here, which maybe I'm not sure where I stopped recording or started recording, but I apologize for those. But here's here's a linear system here. And we have the logarithm matrix will be two, three, four, seven, six. And one one thing we could do is we could do three row one, two row two to get, well, three row one would be six, 15, 21. And the second one would be six, eight, 12, right? I've multiplied the second one by two, the first one by three. And the reason was to sort of set up this to be have the same values, because then I can do minus row one plus row two to have six, 15, 21, and zero. Minus 15 plus eight is minus seven, I think. And then uh, minus 21 and 12, maybe it's minus nine. Because if I add, I think that's, yeah, if I take 12 minus 29 is, okay. And then it's national line form. So this is what, and then you can see that what I, what I, what's, what's happened is then, that I've gotten where I haven't had to do row operations with fractions. Yeah. And doing row operations with fractions leads to more errors than, than one would like. Yeah. Okay, so that is, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna start um, doing this stuff next week. One of the things we can do is see that, that I, maybe I can introduce the idea before we do some more examples and. Maybe if I let you during the second half, you can work on your um, assignment one, that, that that would be a useful thing. And then you could ask questions about it in addition to doing stuff in office hours. Um, so here's a homogeneous system. 5x plus 10y equals zero and 3x plus um, 20. Well, let's say we do something simple. Let's say we do... 15y equal. This is called a homogeneous linear system. It doesn't, it has all zeros on the right. So with every linear system, you can make a home, uh, there's an associated homogeneous one that would be given by just setting. So if, if you were given a system and you say, what's the associated homogeneous linear system? That's a lot of words to say, make seven and six zero. So here's the associated um, homogeneous linear system associated with this linear system. Okay, well, let's go and see. Well, if I, and then I, could, I could write down the, the augmented matrix for this, five, 15, 10, 20, 0, 0. Now notice that these zeros are never going to change. If I multiply a zero by a number, if I swap the zeros, or if I add a number times zero to the other zero, this last column is always going to be zero. So I can just ignore this column, just carry along the zeros. I have to carry them along. And I can just do row operations on the left and not worry about what's happening over here. So I could then do, you know, minus three row one plus row two. 5, 10, 0, 0, and it would be 0 there and minus, minus 10. And then here, um, y would equal 0. And since y is 0, x equals 0. Now, that illustrates a point. Any homogeneous linear system always has a solution. You can never have a contradiction because I can always put in the solution 0 and 0. So. Homogeneous linear systems always always have a solution, namely the zero solution, where all the components are zero. But they they don't have to have this. They, they can have an infinite number of solutions. So I mean, I can just have, if I have the linear system, 
um, 5x plus 3y equals 0 and 10x plus 6y equals 0. We can see that minus 2 row 1 plus row 2 is just going to make this a 0 row. So you're going to have um, x equals minus 3 fifths as your, as your um, solution for the leading variable. What will be the leading variable x in terms of y? And so you can have a free variable. And even though it's a homogeneous system, you have an infinite number of solutions. But still, zero, zero is going to be one of those. Okay, so maybe um, the best thing to do now, I think, is to let you guys um, 